poor Mosey, the name that shines, the king of drawing. In these times, art trading cards, his canvas bold. In 2024, his tales are told. More Mosey, the master's hand, sketches, colors, a wonderland. New Year's trade, a creative spree, his artistry sets imagination free. With every stroke, a story unfolds, our trading cards, his magic holds. 2024 is Camdis, his artful domain, in more Mosey's world creativity reigns. More Mosey, the master's hand, sketches, colors, a wonderland. New Year's trade, a creative spree. Hello, friend, Mormo here, and we're talking about how to be an art influencer. And first off, we want to talk about what is an influencer and introducing the micro influencer. So what makes you an influencer? For one, an influencer is somebody who, if they recommend something, then other people are going to want to make that purchase or do the same thing. For instance, if you're somebody and you recommend a recipe or you recommend a movie or a music or a uh, you wear a certain kind of outfit, would people want to go out and check that out would they want if you recommend it will people actually listen to you and go and check it out and so you're probably wondering do you have to be a celebrity to be an influencer and while it, while it would certainly help to be a celebrity, you actually don't have to be one. You, Anybody can grow an audience online. And, uh, they, um, you just slowly put out content on your chosen topic, which would be art. And, uh, you can grow an audience by posting content, either written or video or audio, and then people will find you and start following you and taking your recommendations and everything. So how to become an influencer, an art influencer? Knowing your strategy. The first thing you want to do is create a personal brand and um, of course you can brand your own name and uh, just have people know you by your name not everybody wants to do that just recently one of my online friends told me that she wishes she never would have used her name in her uh, content and so you might want to use a fake name. You could also use a business name. But you all it's also all about like how you carry yourself. Are you like a very professional person or are you more casual? Are you um, flashy or are you more salt of the earth or whatever? You create a brand of yourself and that's how people will identify you. And why it works is because people get to know you and like you and trust you. When you when you, you send out an image like when if you're always the same and you're consistent, then um, that's your brand and people get to know, like, and trust you. And there's basically three C's of influencers, content, community, and connection. 
and content is what you're putting out there on your niche so as an artist you can make videos about art you can you can write articles about art you can take pictures of art you can do how to tutorials uh and like I say, it's written, it's audio, it's uh, video, but it's stuff that you're putting on the internet that people who are interested in, in, in what you're selling will find. And then they become a community, they can subscribe to you and um, follow you. Join your email list, join your Discord, and they can talk amongst each other. Like it, like I have an online community, and I have an online team, and ev everybody knows everybody. My community knows all of my team members, and they're all influencers and celebrities in their own right, but I have this community that's an audience of people who follow me online and they all talk to each other, they all know each other and, uh, and then you get to the connection and this is where you interact with your audience by um, responding to emails responding to comments um, you can follow back the people who follow you but you capture the lead of your community members and then you continue to cut cut uh, connect with them and uh, now we're going to talk about choosing your niche, the most important decision you will make. And uh, since we're talking about art here, you can talk about the different styles of art, different time periods of art. My niche is kind of like selling art and how to make money with art. But you can do, um, like I say, different styles of art. And uh, you could do art cards, for in instance. That's what I do, but it could be um, abstract art. Or maybe you just paint dogs, or you just paint cats, or you do um, still lifes. And if you're in a saturated market, there is a solution, and that's to just narrow down or to be really different from what everyone else is doing and eventually you'll stand out. You want to choose a niche you love and know. So whatever you're passionate about, whatever faction of art you're passionate about is what you want to choose for the niche of your content. Like I say, I'm really interested in the business end of art and always have been. And so that's why it suits me to talk about selling art and investing in art and flipping art and everything. I love the art business and that's why I make content about it. So whatever you love most about art, uh, that's what you should go after and you want to create a mission statement and a logo so your mission statement can be educating people about art 
or sharing art, history, or keep keeping art, making art more important in society. Um, I think a great mission statement would be teaching people to appreciate original art and original works of art because we're such a mass produced like new world order society that a lot of people don't even appreciate original art so that would be a great mission statement but you have to come up with your own you got to create a mission statement and then you can create a logo and this could be your signature or a caricature of yourself or something then you want to identify your content style or choose your platform so picking your platform that could be like a blog or like YouTube or um, a podcast on Spotify you just gotta find a place where where to put your um, your content at and you gotta decide whether you want to do video audio or written or even photographs and you want to create addictive written content for a blog and uh, be personal and direct speak right as if you're writing to a friend and just tell it as it is you want to tell a story people love stories and stories sell sell a result so with your art or if you're writing about art you could um, talk about how it would really class up a home and make it a lot nicer and a lot more fancy and everything get enthusiastic in your writing and uh you know just write with real colorful language if you're writing a blog and even if you do write even if you do choose to do video YouTube videos which is what we're talking about next you still have to write descriptions and titles so writing is definitely an important skill for being an influencer so definitely work on writing and if you want to do YouTube videos you got to look and sound the part so like I say as a businessman I should probably wear a dress shirt and tie and have a slick haircut and everything but I have a real eccentric look and I guess that's fine for an artist to look like an eccentric person but depending on what your angle is and what your brand is you want to look and sound the part and you want to have a content strategy like uploading once a week or uploading five days a week or where to come up with ideas you can go to Quora and find questions about your niche and then answer those questions is a good content strategy you can use Google Trends to find out what's going on in the art world and then create content around that and there are some important YouTube ranking factors to help your videos get found and uh, they are the description and the tags and the title 
and the thumbnail. You have to master all of that if you want to do YouTube. Because YouTube is the second biggest search engine on the internet. And people go to YouTube to learn how to do things. And uh, to learn about things. They search. And so you want to show up and search. And you can do that through your description and your tags and your titles and then your thumbnail will make people click on your video and you can also be an influencer on Instagram and you gotta take great photos and uh, photos should be each photo should tell a story so it's not just a picture of an object but it should like tell a full story and you can use somebody uh, you can take pictures of people wearing makeup and um, fashionable clothes and everything and in front of your art and uh, take pictures of your art in different settings and different stages and everything and you want to engage your audience whatever your platform is you want to engage your audience and uh, you want interaction so people get to know you and love you and everything and so you can reply to comments, reply to emails, ask people to email you, ask people questions, do polls, and uh, you can poll people. And there's different mediums. There's like, like I say, email, messenger, groups. You can find people in groups. And you can start your own groups, you can start your own Discord, but you want to engage with the community and like, um, again, just so that they know how to like, they know, like, and trust you, so they're willing to make a purchase from you or to take your suggestion. The more you engage with your community, the more likely they are to follow through and click your link and make a purchase so that you can end up getting paid. And you want to network and collaborate with other people in your niche. And like, if you have a thousand followers, you can find somebody else with a thousand followers and collaborate and do shout outs with each other. You can do mesolimbic marketing and I made two feature length trainings about that already, but that's where you like shout out other, you make your own content, um, shouting out other people and then you reach out to them and say, hey, I made this video about you. Just wanted to let you know. And then maybe they'll share that with their audience. Or maybe they'll make content about you. And it's like, um, you hear about that all the time where people have been struggling for years to build an audience and then they engage with somebody who's famous and uh, and then their channel just blows up and gets huge and how and why to network as an influencer it's just so that you can grow your audience and uh, you it's also a great way to make content and um, and just reach a lot more new people. So uh, basically the road to being an influence, an art influencer is to create content, 
create it regularly, engage with your audience, build a community, build an audience, um, give them what they want, ask them what they want, and then deliver on it, communicate with your audience, and then just keep networking and growing, and uh, eventually you will you will be able to be a professional influencer and keep watching, keep watching. Okay, friends, so there's my uh, lecture on being an art influencer and uh, this being an art influencer would put you in a really good position in the art world where you could um, promote art and uh, like people would listen to you when you when you recommend art and stuff and people would want to buy your art and you could also flip art you could buy art and then put it up for sale and influence people to buy it from you and make money that way and everything and I, I, I really think networking is just so important. That's probably, that's what I want to be the big takeaway is that you got to network and build a team and build a community, build an audience, and then um, people will listen to your recommendations and everything. And if you want to look at my art that I got for sale, I'm going to put a link in the description uh, to my eBay store where you can purchase my art. I got originals for sale. I got prints for sale. Um, I got 20-year-old art from my old punk zine me and my friends used to make. And... Uh, so, if you're interested in seeing what art I have available, just click the link in the description. And uh, thanks so much. Hello, friend. Mormo here. I've started my very own collection and personal series of trading cards. Each one is personally hand-drawn and designed by me. This has been a creative and lucrative business for myself. I personally autograph and date each one. Each card is uniquely different. If you would like to order a card today, you can search for Mormozine on eBay or contact me at mormozine at hotmail.com. Thanks so much.